Welcome back, guys. We're now at the three-month mark of our glass coatings longevity test. And as usual, we'll foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then, of course, rinse it before inspecting all the hydrophobic properties of everything. And the last 30 days weather is on your screen here. Be sure to check out the awesome spreadsheets in the video description to find out more about all these products and everything that's used for the wash, equipment that I use, and so on. Here are ways you can support the channel. Make sure to keep everything unsponsored with no outside influences. I don't have sponsors that I have to keep happy. Therefore, we don't care what they think. And so you can find out what the best products are right here. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are holding up. Maybe we've got some changes this month. Armor All, Liquid Glass Guard. Everything's looking strong so far. Adam's two-part. Showing a little bit of signs of weakness, but it's not to the point where we call it weak. Adam's glass boost, I think that lasted 14 days, something like that. Liquid glass guard, Adam's sealant. Next Zet, Aquapel, all looking great. Very hydrophobic. And again, these wouldn't be equated to what would be on your windshield. It would be more something that's on your side glass or your back glass, maybe your sunroof, something like that. Rain-X, definitely looking a little weak there. Not failed, but you can see that there's definitely some, some weakness there. Pearl Nano, which I believe is the most expensive product in the test, nearly $100 for that. Still going. Meguiar's, Gion Repel, Never Wet, looking good. And Griot's, showing some signs of weakness. If we're gonna call Rain-X weak, we're gonna call Griot's weak. So you can see that it does eventually come off, but it's sticking much like the control group, except it is still coming off. Onto the other windshield here, NGNT, Drexler is a new failure. That's at the 60 to 90 day mark, right there. Carbon Collective still going, CarPro Flyby 30, that's a new failure as well. So IGL Window, DPC, those had lasted less than 30 days. And yeah, CarPro fly, Flyby 30. I know some, some people had asked for the Flyby 45 or 50 or something like that. I didn't get that one for this test. G Technic G1, G2, Nano Cotex, both of their products, and Glass Parency, all four of those are looking strong. Yeah, you can see that not having a frame for these windscreens, they definitely cracked quite a bit as they flex, but we're not too concerned with that. We're concerned about the glass hydrophobics. Glosset looking good and Ceramic Pro had failed at the 30 day mark. That is a professional only coating as well, I believe. It's one of those that's supposed to be continually topped, but we're not gonna do any topping in this test because we're looking for longevity without touching it other than washing. And it sits outside, of course. And System X and Shatter X both looking very hydrophobic as well. So we do have a few changes this month. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dry everything off and then I will show you in the sunlight here if we can see any water spots or anything like that because that's one of the things a lot of these products advertise is water spot resistance. So just general natural water spot resistance to the rain and then the sun comes out, it dries. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna see what's going on there. Jumping right into it, zooming up close, you can see that the stuff that's failed obviously has a lot of water spots on it. NGNT doesn't look too bad. There's a texture to the vinyl that's behind the glass too, so that may show up as a water spot, it's not. You can see IGL window, quite a few water spots on that, but it has failed. Same with Drexler. Carbon Collective, not looking too bad. 
CarPro flyby, there's a little bit on there as well as DPC. So if those products had failed, that makes sense that there's water spots on there. And G-Technic Nano Cotex. Yeah, CarPro flyby, you can see a little bit. G-Technic Nano Cotex, both of theirs, and Glass Parency. Little bit on Glass Parency towards the bottom of that. Glossit has just a little bit on it. System X as well. Shatter X looks all right. And Ceramic Pro has a little bit on it. On to the other one. Armor All looks all right. Adam's two part has some on it as well as Glass Boost. It's hard to pick up on camera here. Liquid Glass Guard looks great. Next set, Aquapel. Those look great as well. On to Pearl Nano, that looks good. Trying to change the angle here for you so you can see in the sun a little bit better. The easiest way to see it is looking directly in the sun's reflection in order for them to show up on camera. It's real tricky to get it to show up for you. Gion Repel, Never Wet has a little bit on it. Griot's, McGuire's, both looking pretty good there. So I hope that came across on camera for you. There are some better than others in that regard. So there we go, guys. There's your update. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.